so I'm just coming out of the range, and uh, I saw some, like, fairly disturbing shit. No, don't worry. It's not, like, crazy like that. I didn't see anyone get shot or anything. Thank God. But it disturbed me nonetheless, almost on the same level. So there was this gentleman in there, and probably in his 40s, and uh, he was shooting his AR-15. Nice, you know, Colt, AR-15, you know, M forgery type deal, right? A couple of really nice P mags with it. He was shooting. Put it all, all the way out to like 50 yards or whatever. All right. All of a sudden, he throws it down on the table in indoor range, right? And he calls the range over officer over. It's old range officer, probably in his 80s, to be honest. Ex-Marine, I think. Because he keeps referring to the table as the deck. Put it down on the deck. So the guy freaks out. He throws the AR down on the table. He goes, come here, come here, come here to the range officer, right? And I'm standing next to him in the next port. And I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? So the range officer moseys on over slowly. And uh, the guy points to the weapon, the AR, right? The rifle. And he goes, there's two bullets stuck in it. There's two bullets. <laughs> Just like that. All panicked. All panicked. And so... The range officer looks at him and he like looks at the rifle. He goes, uh, okay. And the guy's like, can you help? <laughs> Very like, just like that, like panic. And then so the range officer goes, uh, all right. Do you, can I pick your weapon up? He goes, yes, yes, take it, take it, take, look at it. So he picks it up. He pulls the charging handle back, lets two rounds fall out down the magazine well, right? And he looks at the guy and he's like, okay. Well, you had a double feed. Um... You're okay now. <laughs> and he hands him back two rounds, right? And he goes, here's your two rounds. And the guy goes, I don't want those. I don't want those anymore. You can have them. <laughs> the range officer is like, I don't want them. What am I going to do with them? Like, they're yours. And the guy goes, no, 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 no. I'm not putting those back in my gun. <laughs> he had no fucking idea. No idea, like, that these things were totally fine like it just it happens sometimes like it's okay he thought it was the bullets that were like very dangerous he goes i'm not putting those back in my gun all right so like this disturbs me on a level of like you buy this nice ar you probably spend 1200 bucks right you buy like nice sp mags you're shooting it but you don't even know the very fucking basics very fucking basics about how to operate this weapon I fucking hope nobody is depending on him to protect them. I fucking hope that this guy doesn't have the illusion that he can defend himself with that rifle. Like, what the fuck are you going to do? It's not even like it's a pistol, right? Where it's like, all right, I keep it in my bedside. Like, you know, if something happens in the middle of the night, I'll grab it and hopefully be able to defend myself, like, from my bed if worse came to worse. No, this is a rifle. This is an offensive weapon, right? You're not grabbing this in the middle of the night and, like, defending your life from from your bed rifles are offensive long-range fucking weapons like you're gonna go and you're gonna go and find someone to do something to them with a rifle that's what it is but the fact that like you can't even fucking clear a basic double feed you're afraid of the bullets after they drop out like the range officer just looked at me i looked at him and we're like what the fuck it like it disturbs me to a new fucking level it really does because how are you gonna fucking like all right, you buy a rifle. Good, that's good. Every American should have a rifle. But every American should fucking know how to use his rifle or her rifle. Like, learn the basics. Too many people out there, I, I see them all the time. They buy the fucking thing and they think that because they have it, they're going to be able to, like, use it. Well, this guy clearly, what happens if you have a fucking malfunction in the middle of a fucking fight? You're fucked, bro. You're better off, like, probably not even having the fucking weapon in the first place. It's absurd. So... This just, like, really reiterates to me, like, what I always tell people is, like, yeah, get the rifle, but before you do anything, learn how to fucking use it, and, like, get trained on it. It really doesn't take that long. You can go and do, if you have the money to, like, buy the nice things that this guy had, and he was clearly, like, either a finance dude or something like that, he had, like, a nice polo and some khaki shorts on, like, you've got the money, bro, like, go out there and get three classes, three or four classes, that's, like, three or four hours out of your life, right? It's not hard. You could even do private fucking lessons. Like, okay, maybe your schedule is, like, filled with, like, work shit, finance shit, right? Doesn't matter. You've got the time. 
Go out there and invest in some fucking training because you don't ever want to be this fucking guy. I guarantee you, you don't ever want to be this fucking guy. Go out there and get trained. Learn how to clear basic malfunctions. Learn how to do some very, very basic mag reloads, tactical reloads, and learn how to shoot well, decently, right? But the fact that this fucking guy in here was like all freaked out about this, honestly, and I don't ever say this, he probably shouldn't have that weapon because he's probably more dangerous with it than without it. Anyway, go out there, invest in some fucking training. And I don't usually do a lot of these uh, Instagrams or YouTubes anymore um, just because I have fucking, I have a life and I'm going out there and living it. But I had to make something about this because it just offends me. And meanwhile, there's like ex-military people and stuff who like, you know, for whatever reason are not legally allowed to own a weapon, but they're very competent with it. And then you got this fucking guy who doesn't even fucking know how to like just very basically clear malfunction. That's what irks me. That's what irks me, you know? Anyway, until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. Don't be this freaking guy. Learn how to use your weapon and invest in some very basic training at the least. Cheers. Don't be an asshole.